Hi, a warm welcome to RK University YouTube channel. This is Professor Ram Krishna, and I'm a professor of finance at one of the leading business schools in India. Through this YouTube channel, this is RK University, I share my knowledge in financial accounting with students and practitioners across the world. So, in this lecture, I'm going to explain you the importance of accounting standards. Why is that we need to have accounting standards? and what are the different agencies which provide us guidelines on accounting standards and uh, uh, how is it differ from one kind of accounting standards to the other kind of accounting standards what are the similarities and dissimilarities are explained in this lecture keep watching the main objective uh, of accounting is to provide information to different uh, uh, stakeholders when you're saying that these stakeholders the stakeholders may be of anyone like uh, the management within the organization or the owners of the organization and the uh, banks and financial institutions like uh, and government agencies like various uh, stakeholders are there so accounting provides all this information to these shareholders to help them to take or uh, informed judgments in the sense by looking at the accounting information these different stakeholders should be able to take informed judgments that means the information what is that we are providing through our accounts should be helpful for this and this information should be complete authenticate in, an, in another scenario this accounting information in the sense imagine a economy where hundreds of companies hundreds of companies perform their operations in each industry we see multiple companies take for example take for example automobile automobile industry in india we have a companies like maruti is manufacturing automobiles in india honda is manufacturing automobiles in india tvs is manufacturing automobiles in india then the accounting statements prepared by all these in the sense all these three automobile or any other automobile companies should be similar in the, similar in the, not in the sense of their numbers but similar in the sense of a way those accounting statements or uh, financial statements are prepared this is one scenario on the other side now in a global village these days uh, economies are uh, or businesses having operations across the world take for examples like a coca cola or simply say that uh, coke or you can say pepsi and these companies uh, have operations across the world maybe uh, more than 100 countries they have their operations then in each and every country they have their own separate uh, uh, registered companies according to the country that mean each pepsi uh, let us say it is operating in 100 countries mean 100 different uh, annual reports it has to be prepared and finally it has to prepare one consolidated so in such a scenario investors not from one particular company but from 100 companies are interested in the accounting information provided by the uh, pepsi to take a uh, decisions so in that scenario whatever the accounting standards are there that should be similar or uniform uniform across the world so with this objective or a concern or a concern the accounting standards came into picture so when you are talking about accounting standards popularly we come across with the three different uh, forms of accounting standards one is uh, that is gap which is generally accepted accounting principles and this gap principles are provided by FASB that is uh, financial accounting standards board or simply known as a FASB and normally these gap principles are known as US gap in the sense all the public limited companies in a US need to follow the guidelines preferred or uh, guidelines prescribed in a US gap at the international level we have a IFRS that is international financial reporting standards reporting standards 
and these international financial reporting standards are provided by uh, international accounting standards board this is international accounting standards board and um, near about all the european countries and more than 100 countries in a con in the world 100 countries in the world follow ifrs when it comes to in india india in india we have a int as that is indian accounting standards which is prepared in consultation with the ifrs as well as chartered accountancy uh, institute of chartered accountants of india so we have a int as so these three uh, are major when it comes to the india us it is a us gap in a worldwide it is a ifrs and in a country specific like india we have a indian uh, accounting standards and uh, almost the basic principles or the basic or guiding principles of these three are more or less the same however there are minor deviations in in case of a how each transaction should be reported now just i'll introduce you in a brief uh, about these accounting standards so at the introductory level you don't need to master what are the each and every accounting standard is and how it is going to impact and how the calculations are but the basic things if you are uh, you should be able to know the basic principles so that small deviations from one accounting standard to the another accounting standard can be mastered at advanced level but at initial level just you need to know that okay these are the accounting agencies and uh, the principles so here i give you uh, an illustrations of uh, these uh, uh, accounting uh, standards it is like when it comes to the us gap the us gap rules are set in principles uh, and uh, governing corporate accounting and financial reporting in the us so there is in the united states of india us gap is most popularly used and very importantly all the public all the public companies in the united states need to report their financials as per the us gap however when it comes to the private companies they can opt either for reporting in the us gap or any other now why is that us gap is helpful or important is the importance is that helps in accurate disclosure of a financial statements as i said you financial statements need to be prepared in uh, consultation or according to the guidelines preferred by the us gap that is a one then reduces confusion in the minds of a stakeholders in the sense how actually these are prepared and all then it makes a reporting transparent and uniform across the companies which are uh, across the public limited companies in the united states then it acts as a guidelines for companies and makes a simpler to the stakeholder to understand because once you are familiar with uh, the gap uh, guidelines or the principles and uh, once you get master with that so if, as every company every public company in the us is following the same then it would be easy for you and it makes your life simpler to understand uh, the financial statements so here is how the uh, gap origin so this is uh, uh, in simple so accounting principles board uh, gives the gap and next comes is your ifrs that is international financial reporting standards so ifrs is uh, by in international accounting standards board uh, iasb headquartered in london then the key points of ifrs is that it provides general guidance for the preparation of a financial statements rather than rules for industry specific reporting so ifrs or any accounting standards provide as the general guidance or guidelines how actually the financial statements and financial reports need to be prepared and this will be the general for all the industries there is no specific industry specific uh, standards now looking at uh, currently over 100 plus countries permit to rec or uh, require ifrs for public companies all these accounting standards which you are talking about these are uh, must for all the public companies when it comes to the private companies partnerships or sole proprietors it is an optional one but for a public companies these uh, accounting standards are a must so all the public companies uh, around 100 plus countries now i uh, countries are following ifrs now ifrs is sometimes confused with international accounting standards according to international accounting standards are the older version 
whereas IFRS is the newer version. So uh, this IAS International Accounting Standards has been replaced by IFRS. Then IFRS is followed in the European Union and many countries in the Asia, South America, but not in the United States. As we saw in the United States, they follow US GAAP. But now even uh, American uh, companies and the uh, uh, Financial Accounting Standard Board of uh, uh, America is planning to align GAAP, US GAAP principles in, uh, in uh, similar to the IFRS so that in future, there will be only one that is International Financial Reporting Standards. Uh, uh, so that means IFRS will be, the, the, sorry, that means US GAAP will be replaced with IFRS. Now, when it comes to the accounting standards in India, we have accounting standards that is the uh, Institute of Chartered Accountants of India uh, issues accounting standards. Then we have a uh, accounting standards board. So which uh, keeps and very importantly, the Indian accounting standards are prepared in, in similar lines with the IFRS so that there should not be any confusion when uh, there is a uh, when we, Indian companies are reporting at international level or international companies are reporting in, in India. So to avoid the confusion and uh, misconceptions, Indian accounting standards are prepared keeping IFRS in mind and uh, Indian companies act also in taking into consideration. So uh, in, in some cases, there are departures are made on account of a conceptual differences and treatments prescribed by the IFRS. Not that 100% we are following, but at certain issues, uh, there is a um, minor uh, differences. But however, getting familiar with any of any one of these three accounting standards, that is whether you get familiar with your uh, US uh, GAAP or, or I IFRS or Indian accounting standards. So the basic principles of accounting remains to be the same. That is the, the concepts, conventions or the basic guidelines on which these accounts are prepared are, are same. Uh, however, there are minor uh, changes in treatment of accounts and reporting. So uh, instead of uh, uh, getting panic with uh, all these accounting standards and hundreds of accounting standards and all, but try to understand the basic principles of uh, uh, each basic principles of all the accounting standards. Gradually, according to your career, you can uh, master any of these. But at the end of the day, if you uh, in, in future, if you master the IFRS, this is going to be a common accounting standards for all the public companies across the world. Thank you. Thank you for listening to my lecture. Keep watching. In my next lecture, I am going to explain you in detail about US GAAP principles. So as uh, the GAAP principles, as we said, the basic principles are similar to uh, all, all the accounting standards. So I am focusing on a uh, US GAAP principles. Thank you very much.